Hello Scorpio, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in again at the list Illuminator. So let's see what's going on with you guys. Let's see what the messages are for you. I was not getting a lot of messages through when I was meditating. So I was like, hmm, what's the energy about? It was, was like this, like the moon. <laughs> So let's see what the messages are for you guys. I will have an extended video on Vimeo for the month of July. So you guys can check it out if you'd like. And let's just get started. One more shuffle and we're ready. All right. We are at the said she said, but you guys already know the drill, right? So let's see what's the past energy for, for Scorpio. What's the past energy? Oh, okay. Something's not going in your favor. Something's not moving. Yeah, okay. Whoa, I knew it. There was a lot of things that were going on because I was like, okay, if I'm going to tap into it. I'd rather tap into the reading ASAP. You have the Fool in the reverse. You've got the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. And you've got the Chariot in the reverse. Now, this is a total... <sighs> what should I say? I don't want to say a disaster like don't like let's not put it that way let's just say that some things are just not in control in in your control um you maybe suffer from um taking new possibilities taking new directions you may have troubles with choosing a direction to go you may feel that things are just out of your hands uh, or that you just don't have the willpower because you just don't know where the end of the tunnel is you just don't know how to get there there is like the la loss of direction the loss of control um things are just moving way too slow and there's no you know there's no movement whether that is like with financial state or whether it is like with your um and we have the retrograde um of jupiter in your sign so that could be like this lack of luck that is coming in you know this lack of um expansion this lack of initiating something new so there is this sense of you feeling that you've made maybe the wrong choices that you maybe jumped into something a bit too quick without thinking in hesitation and that um that developed itself into feeling a lack of starting now over so there could have been something that you was brought back to um, something from the past coming back, something that you haven't, has not been finished well. You may have felt like, like a fool actually by someone that has been playing you like that as well. Like, um, someone that you've invested and they promised you the world, like we're going to move things forward, but there is like time passed by and you have nothing and you're like, okay, you fooled me. And now I, I need to choose whether I want to stay investing in this or really need to move forward. So this could be in different areas of your life. Actually, this could be financially as well. Most likely this could be with new create new adventures, um, something that you need to start up again, um, because something did not go in your favor and you need that willpower again you need that determination to know where you're going and go towards that full steam ahead so because of that this could have you know have some turbulence within your emotions um you do have the king of cups in the reverse this could have also been due to a cancerian individual which i'm getting most likely could also be an aries or a capricorn towards a virgo but most likely if you've been dealing with a cancer like you know that the end of the road is there like somehow the end of the road made itself seen and you're like okay did i just invest so much time and it's not moving it's not you know you can't move there's like this this blockage of things coming onto your path like another block like another thing and you're like uh, i'm tired like but hey, this is a past energy though. So this could, you know, this could be like this past seven months you felt that way. It does not have to be that you are feeling that way at this current moment. Maybe you're in the space of, you know, feeling nothing at this moment. That could be the reason why I did not receive anything because you're just a bit tired of feeling that way, right? Let's see. What's the other person? What's going on in their past energy? What has been going on in the past energy for the person that's 
Scorpio was dealing with. A lackluster here. We've got the lackluster here. Ooh, and a liar. Jeez. Really? Someone lying about their... Um, and getting sexual needs. I'm having like something in my air here. Someone's talking about me. <laughs> okay. So, Ace of Wands with the King of Swords. Someone was straight up uh, mentally manipulating you. Uh, not honest, not truthful. Um, could be an air sign, but I'm, I'm feeling that this is some kind of energy where you feel that someone has lied to you. They were not honest. This, they, they may, you know, um, manipulate their way of getting something from you that was, you know, sexual and then not being honest about that was the only thing that they came for so that could be one of the reasons for other people that could be definitely someone um cutting you off or you cut that person off due to something not starting over like there is a lack of creation between both of you there was a lack of passion and there there has been definitely some manipulation going on some mind games that have been um going on and you may have just fell for that. That's why you feel like the fool as in you play those mind games with them as well. And and then you realize like, okay, was it all worth it to explore whether it was a mind game or not? Eventually you get drawn into that mind game and you're like, okay, now I'm the fool. Or now I feel like foolish for going with that mind game. So I always see like both people just feeding up that energy. So... Let's see the current energy, which I feel it's going to be positive. So let's see if I'm right. <laughs> I feel that there's going to be positive thing. I knew it. Look at that. Like, seriously, this is what I'm talking about. This is the temperance card. This is positive. This is uh, accepting the situation for the good and the bad, finding that inner peace, inner harmony, and just being, you know, cool with it. Like, you accept it, you accept what happened and you're not going to fit with it. You know, you're not going to sit with it forever and just like, you know, things like that. You know that you've invested in the wrong person or you did, you, you made a mistake, you learn from it and you have the ability to create something new from your mistake because that's what the temperance card is about is accepting the good and the bad within yourself, within the situation or the other person and being able to create and manifest something new this is about alchemy this is about you know having the fire and the water just right in balance the good and the bad the polarities so the acceptance of the situation look this just flipped into my hand like seriously page of cups you feeling as if you are ready to open up for love again there is someone that is want to come in could be also a fire sign there could be a sagittarius or a pisces uh, especially sagittarius or a pisces could be also another water sign or a fire sign that wants to come in for an apology as well or you might want to apologize um for something that you did definitely i don't feel towards this individual though but just something else in general there could also be new love new romance coming in so i knew that these energies were going to switch for a lot of us and there is definitely finally this new love this new uh excitement that is coming in again so that is good you have the king of swords so that means that you've learned you you are truthful towards yourself and towards people you you tell them where they stand and uh, if they are not serving you for your best purpose, you cut them out like just like that. So this is someone that is that is very truthful, but that could also be your approach by accepting your situation, accepting your uh, your own mistakes, your own faults, and that's when you create that harmony, when you let go of that grudge um, or your own regrets or the foolish things that you have been going through. So let's see. I told you the feelings are good. This was just past energy. What is the current energy for Scorpio's partner or whoever they are dealing with? What's their current energy? Wow. There is definitely some kind of reconciliation that is on the way, guys. There is definitely... See, you have the Three of Cups here. This is, you know, combining 
what I just said and creating something new. This is uh, alchemy, this is creation, this is um, temperance. <laughs> Till I saw the other word, uh, other cards. Do also have the eight of cups, the judgment in the reverse and the five of wands in the reverse. Hmm. Okay. Or not. <laughs> so this person could be focused on their own healing as well. That's what I'm seeing actually. Just just like you. So they're they're trying to focus on their, their own balance and they're trying to leave old baggages behind. It could be in some cases that they are, you know, they're on their way to to come forward with a reconciliation. Both of you could meet each other in in the middle. I feel that there is this possibility but uh, somehow you are you are doing better at this moment so you may be a bit you know keeping them on an arm length somehow you're not trusting maybe or you're seeking for new uh new love interest but this person still is in the midst of walking away could be walking away from another Sagittarius or walking away from someone that that tries to come back to them to reconcile something but they're definitely not looking at themselves and, you know, they're not wanting to... This is the biggest reconciliation card, actually, when we, you know, if you check both of them, this is actually, you know, being guided to, but this is the one that is the judgment. So the last call, and that is in the reverse. So I'm doubting it. They, they want to come out of conflict, but um, not in a way to reconcile. So they may come want to come out of conflict, but not like... Okay, let's have a new chapter because they're still lacking some kind of self-examination in one point uh, and they could be trying still trying to walk away from a third party as well blockage for you is the five of cups so you're still trying to get over this sadness you're still trying to get over this sorrow you feel that you've invested a lot there is still a lot of hurt feelings uh, from the past lingering on where you feel still scorned you feel still a bit broken like bad investment when it comes to love that's like what it seems like but this is bad bad investment in love that's how you feel and you feel still stuck in someone that has left you as well or you know for things to, to go the way that they went and there is someone definitely ooh, yeah see the past as well the past in the reverse six of cups is in the reverse so still you know, trying to deal with those energies by accepting the, the past. So that temperance card there, the acceptance of the good and the bad is, is an energy that you are going to receive this month. So you, you can try to find that balance, try to find an inner peace, even though a lot of things went bad in the past. So there is a lot of negativity in the past. So the Queen of Swords in the reverse is as well saying that there could be someone that um, this could be you, this could be a dear person that is not being truthful still, that is um, cutting the other person out, is being very malicious in the way they could be very... Still, there is definitely this mind game, strong mind game and manipulation going on and just a lot of dishonesty that is going on. And I feel that you're trying to break free of that. Or you will break free of that. Like definitely in the month of... July, I feel like you will have some more serenity uh, and you will be guided as well. So with that temperance card that is Archangel Michael, so you can ask for his guidance, for his protection. When you feel like negative energy coming towards you, you can feel his, you know, you can ask for his protection. Uh, do some clear, do some prayers so that you can always feel like enlightened. There will be some angelic guidance that will help you so let's see what's the blockage of the other person there is definitely no communication and they are trying to overcome uh, their own anxiety their own stress and they may have been uh, stressed out about um, you know the movement of this relationship but they're slowly getting out of it even though there are things that they're not ready to see of themselves they're blindfolding themselves about some of their behaviors or they feel that you may feel blindfolded about some behaviors but 
definitely with that judgment card in the reverse there's a there's a poor judgment on the situation and for me when the judgment is in the reverse it's like you not seeing um something about yourself you try to blindfold yourself you trying to fool yourself so that could be this person but this could also be you so it feels to me that you both are maybe pointing out fingers to one another without seeing something some kind of truth with that within yourself so this is always this always has to do with polarity and uh, projecting uh one's fears or you know one's behaviors towards one another so whatever you hear from this part definitely if you're dealing with soulmate uh situations it can be that that person may feel that way about you but you are just too blind for that like that that's how we humans can also be we, we may not always see our own uh, mistakes or we may not like agree with other people but there are things that both of you or this person in particular does not want to see and therefore not want to uh, come back together so yeah we also have the two of swords here so that's definitely some kind of you know blindfolded like, um, situation <clears throat> Wow, you and Taurus, you both have the Two of Cups. Ooh, and we got the Taurus card here. Okay, you guys are ready to love. <laughs> like, definitely, I am ready to love. This is definitely ready. You and Taurus, I don't know if you are dealing with a Taurus, but you both are ready to get on that boat together. Like, definitely love boat. But for others of you, you you're ready to... Uh, to actually build up a family uh, with that Empress card, you, you're ready to show actually unconditional love without restrictions. Like you want to be able to freely love someone and nurture someone without feeling that you're going to take advantage of like everything being all good and, and everything. So you are definitely trying to um, find the balance within yourself and try to seek for relationship where there is open communication about how you want to be treated in a relationship as well that's also for me very important with that empress this is and the two of cups it's like being very open and generous towards one another without feeling like okay i'm gonna take advantage of or this person will take advantage of like that fully trust that that person is going to love you back in the same way that you can love them back like you like to explore deep and that's how you want to be um, reciprocating love as well like you want it deep on a deep level for others of you if you had some troubles with your mother you, you either you or your mother wants to you know have this come back together like there is there is this love that they uh, that they miss so for those who have been having troubles with their mom um, like deep down inside you do want to be you know on the same page and have that have your mom nurturing you or loving you in that kind of way but this is definitely a feminine uh, energy so either you want to be you know loving both your kids and having your kids to love you and have a good um balanced relationship with them or with your own mom that's what i'm seeing here okay so we got the temperate no i'm sorry uh, the High Priestess Reverse and the Knight of Swords in their hope. So someone is ready to rush in to get some answers from you, to get some, you know, they feel that maybe you had an, an agenda, maybe that you were not honest. So there is definitely that projection going on of you, them feeling that you are secretive in some kind of way and you holding back of uh, expressing your emotions, expressing yourself and there is definitely someone that wants to rush in and get that truth from you. So um, they may even spit out some some kind of secrets about you. So be mindful of that energy because this seems like an energy that you know this this man or this woman is ruthless. Like they they will ex explode like expose your uh, deepest secrets. Uh, so be mindful of that. I feel that you want to be you know, on good terms, and now the other person is like, oh, hell no, I'm going to expose you. So be mindful of that. Outside influence. Oh, fierce, sorry. Fierce for Scorpio. Well, I think this is big fear. That's one thing. Fierce for Scorpio. We 
we're just gonna keep on going. Interesting. You've got the Hermit card here. So you are fearing to take a deep introspection in this, um, in this matter. You, you have a fear of contemplating about this and trying to find a solution about this situation. You have the Lovers card. It, I thought it was upright, but it eventually fell out in the reverse. So you have a fear that, it, that the connection is not going to be restored again. There is a fallout or there is a lack of union. There's a lack of passion. Um, but I'm getting this vibe with this fear. You have a fear of retreating yourself and contemplating about the situation, analyzing the situation and trying to find answers about the situation. You may be in the, in, in, in this, um, feeling of being together with people so you don't have to think about it but there is a fear of you you know uh, being alone as well like um, that that maybe your lesson uh, with Saturn is to be alone if that's if, if those fears are there for you like fear of being alone like that kind of things um, like ending up alone on that island like those fears could be coming in uh, definitely with this full moon as well and yeah the, also with that lovers card is kind of like saying the same thing I didn't even look at that lovers card when I got that message but having that lovers card in the reverse could definitely indicate the same like having a fear of never gonna be able to find this union like hoping for that two of cups but like is it ever gonna come like keeping your head up keeping your um, your hopes up is sometimes hard. Uh, for others of you that are in a relationship, you don't. Ooh, okay. Sorry, I'm just getting getting a bit. We have again the two of cups here and the hangman in the reverse. So they are. I feel that Taurus had the same kind of energy from the other side as well. Like afraid to see things from a spiritual perspective when it comes to this connection. You may have been trying to. Um, talk to them as if you know like you are my soulmate that's the energy that i'm getting actually can't believe that i'm saying these things but <laughs> as if you have tried to explain them the connection and they're just like nope not having it like i i don't uh, i don't believe that crap like that's kind of the energy that i'm getting like they're like no no yeah we we're fine but this is not like you know some extraordinary spiritual thing that you read on the internet like no that's the energy that i'm getting like they may be a bit um they may not be that spiritual as you and get into the depth of the connection so th that's why you're like okay does it matter for me to uh really dig into this connection if they are not even believing in it like what's the sense always surprising how like in what places i come when doing these readings like you never know where you're gonna end up while you do those readings it's so funny sometimes just have to you know laugh at myself sometimes it's like okay how do we get to this subject out of this what is the outside influence for scorpio got the magician someone is ready to manifest something and they want to do this on their own again i get that vibe because the magician is the number one they're alone they're single they're the one that manifests they have all the equipments and that they need the experience whatever it is and they want to be confidently do something on their own like that's why they represent you know the magician in the number one so that could be definitely the outside uh, influence and i feel that it's not negative towards you because it's uh it's something that they want to manifest in their own life something that they want to be taking care of so yeah and that's why they're not ready to commit in a relationship they're not they, they, they don't view things the way that you view them. They, they, they don't view the commitment just like that. They have this um, 
they feel that they still need to have a lot of lessons they need to go they need to experience a lot of things they need to manifest a lot of things before they can settle so they have this uh i don't want to say like they're a bit rebellious they, they're not they don't go with um with the terms of life not with the terms of life but how should i even explain this like they're just have another opinion about how things should go they're not that traditional they're definitely not that traditional they're more spiritual mindset and they feel that they still have a lot of experiences to 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 learn from before they can settle down um so i'm feeling a very serious energy here with you guys what is the outside influence yeah and that's why i feel for you because i feel that this is your energy with the outside influence of the fool and the knight of wands in the reverse that you're like you're you're actually fine with it like um, this is a moment where you are going to accept whether it's a you know whether you you're gonna uh, put this situation in into a box of being rejected or in a box of hey everyone is free to to have a free will and free choice and if they want to go that direction fine so i feel that you're you're in that on that edge of like where do i put this situation at this moment like is this a rejection or is this like okay i need to understand their point of view and just go with my own flow into a different direction so that that is you kind of like uh stop having your fence up about it and stop fitting about it like okay i need to make it happen like and that could be a cause for you to block this connection off for now so that both of you can go into the like your own uh, experiences at this moment so yes this was your reading torpio i will have the link down in the description box for the extended reading for the month of july and i'll see you guys later ciao